today I learned a very big lesson concerning repentance that for repentance to work it needs to be combined with the fear of God then I realized that repentance is just the immediate realization that you're on the wrong the moment you say that I'm wrong I I'm, I'm wrong here I, I was wrong in doing this or I was wrong in not doing this that moment is called repentance there is no indeed any formula for you repenting but the bible has already taught us that when your heart is in a, in in a state of remorse and remorse when when i say remorse is that state where you where you acknowledge i have sinned i'm on the wrong you have repented and once you have repented god is able to receive you but then today I learned a lesson that without the fear of god repentance can be false and let me just share with you why i got this um a lesson today i was reading my bible and i realized that on the number 8 of the plagues in egypt that is the only time pharaoh came and said i am wrong i have sinned against you your god and new moses because i've been refusing to let the people go but that is after much destruction of egypt through the plagues why the eighth one specifically i do not know but that is the time the locust god released and 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 is it an east wind yeah an east wind that brought a lot of locust such that even the sunlight could not reach the ground it was dark because it's just a huge swarm of locust in the in the sky it was dark in egypt and they fell on the ground you could not see the ground and pharaoh called after moses and said i have sinned i have sinned against you and your god deliver me from this death apparently he thought he was going to die because of the locust but seven other plagues had taken place but he could not he was not willing to 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 acknowledge god or even say he's wrong apparently you know when moses went to pharaoh he was like who is god that i should listen to you and your god and you and god was trying to prove that he was god through the plagues but you know pharaoh would not repent or or agree that god is god he is the most powerful god pharaoh as we see he was actually uh believing in many gods and some of his gods actually replicated the miracles we know that the first three mi- mi- miracles the first three miracles he could replicate they could actually turn the rod into snakes although his snakes were were were, were weak and were eaten by moses snakes and then he could make water turn into blood maybe not in large scale as moses did because moses turned all water bodies into blood in egypt but they could apparently do that uh, in a, to a certain extent and the third one you know moses did brought in a lot of frogs and apparently his magicians could produce some some kind of frog so he was like yeah i could somehow do this as well so he could not repent the first three but we see from the fourth they could not replicate it that was the end of the of the gods of egypt the demons of egypt the magicians the, the spells they had apparently very strong magical spells they could uh, do some incantation or enchantment through spells and produce some some miracle so the power of the devil is real it doesn't mean he's he's just zero he has a certain amount of power but we see pharaoh could not believe but after the four the fifth the sixth plague his magicians as well could not replicate it actually they became sick like the i think the fourth one was the boils the magicians got boils as well and then from there there is lice coming in and and the flies coming in and we see by the time the flies are coming he's like okay just just pray to god to remove these i'm going to let go but he had not repented repented so on the 7th on the 8th i guess plague that's when he comes and says i have sinned and at that particular point i paused and said that was the moment it was the momentous moment pharaoh could have been saved that means no matter how much sinful we are or obstinate very hard hearted 
There is that moment that God still provides the, 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 the moment of grace, the day of salvation where you're supposed to grab it. Pharaoh could have made it to heaven had he been faithful and repented even after the 400 and, you know, 430 years of slavery. Had he repented that moment sincerely with his heart, he would have been saved. He actually repented. But Moses says something that shocked me. Even if after Pharaoh is like, I have sinned against your God and you, Moses, and I'm, please forgive me, pray that these locusts disappear and I'm just definitely going to obey God. Moses says something. I know you, Pharaoh. You do not have the fear of God. And you're going to, 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 to act treacherously. And no sooner had Moses prayed and that plague was removed, he, he, he did not fear God. Then I came to realize that Pharaoh had that moment to get saved. And that was the, that was the only window. After so long, or many plagues, on the eighth one, had he repented, God would have saved Israel and Pharaoh would have been saved. But that was the end of Pharaoh. We realized that the next couple of like the, the next two plagues, you know, uh, he's even threatening to kill Moses. This guy, nothing could change him. He was obstinate. And then, you know, I, I read there just a little pages behind that. God is saying, I raised you as obstinate so that I can I can show the parallel the power of God and my name can be known. So it begs the question of that predestination. Could Pharaoh have changed his own destiny if God raised him, you know, to show forth his glory? And I, re and I, and I realized, yes, yes, he could have saved himself. Um, but, but God knew he would not. So he made him a reprobate. A reprobate is a person, no matter how many chances God gives them, they would not change. So God just allows you to double down on your, if you were obstinate, you double down on that. And that's how you're predestined to, 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 to if you refuse to, to, to repent or you repent in a fake manner without the fear of God, you repent when there is pressure. We see Pharaoh repenting because the pressure of the locusts, the locusts are in his house. He can't sleep. So he's repenting just for, for because there is pressure. But the moment the pressure is gone, he, he has no need to repent. He's back to his comfort zone. And, 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 and just maybe the reason I'm giving all this story is just to tell me and you that our repentance has to be added with the fear of God after I have repented. What made you repent? Is it because there, there was pressure? Is it because you felt guilty? But after that is over, what are you going to do? Because if you do not have the fear of God, you're likely going to go back to your vomit, like a dog going back to his vomit. And from experience, I know that. I have screwed up many times. Then I realized for me to screw up, every time I would go and screw up is because the fear of God, I, allow, I did not allow the fear of God to act in me. I had to let go the fear of God so I can face the sin without feeling guilty. And that's why I'm saying for us to continue in, 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 in a holy manner after our repentance, we have to let the fear of God to continue working in us. The fear of God is a beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is to hate evil, is to if I do this, God is watching. I don't wanna I don't wanna do this. It's against God. The fear of God let me uh, summarize it's not trembling before god in in that manner it is every desire and the fiber of our spirit is to please god so if we are to repent and remain repentant we must have the fear of god let us pray that the holy spirit gives us the fear of god that is the hatred of evil and sin and that means the only desire we have in our spirits all our desire is to please God, to be holy and blameless in His sight. The fear of God. Pray daily for the fear of God. Thank you for listening in. Let us continue repenting and let the fear of God always dwell in our spirits so that we can maintain a holy life. Christ is coming back for a holy people.
a holy church. God bless you. Repent for the day of salvation is today. God bless you.